with a goaltender from the Aquam Wallers. He will be discussing with us today his views of the upcoming playoffs with their matchup against the White Lightning. We'll also be talking about the other matchup. Uh, yellow High Rollers against the uh, the Gold uh, Pepsis. Gold, whatever they are. I don't know. I haven't gold figured that out Pepsis. yet. Um, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Aylinson. Mike, how are you? Hey, Bob. How you doing? Nice to see good you, pal. Nice to see you, pal. Nice to see you. Good, good, okay, good. I feel real good. I feel real good. Wife and kids okay? Everybody Everybody's out? fine. Thanks, thanks. I feel real good. I never go anywhere without this. Bob, let me Bye. get right to it. Why, why don't you do interviews? Yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, I've been misquoted so many times. I've had my comments taken out of context so many times. And, uh... It, it really bugs me, to be honest with you. So I, I, I figure if I don't say anything at all, I can't get hurt. But but you're an old friend of mine. We go way back. I figured I'd give you an interview. And I appreciate it. Now let's get right to the hockey. Let's, let's talk it. first. Before we talk about the Aqua White game, let's talk a little bit about the high roller and the gold game. You know, as of course, as you well know, gold comes in, the defending street hockey league champions. Oh, yeah. They're a much lighter <laughs> team this year with a couple losses from their team, the Lebrano brothers, uh, Pete, Michelle. Um, and of course, Yellow comes in after winning first place with the Taylor brothers up front and, uh, you know, all those other guys on the team, the Mannies, you know, Nick. <laughs> anyway, what Nick. do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that, sir? Well, I think, uh, what you mean, going to lose? I think that uh, the Pepsi goal have been not only weakened a little bit, but weakened substantially. Or any offensive threat they ever had, the Lebronos and Pete are all gone now. They had let's be a little gracious considering that they did beat us last year in the finals. With Lebrano and Pete. I this is not even close to the team that that beat us. So what do you think about the uh, the yellow high rollers on the other hand? I think they're okay. In. I think they're uh, they're staggering into the players. I think they're uh, I think they're a real solid team. Well of course Bob they're coming off that pacing at the hands of the Aqua Maulers a couple weeks ago. Well um, Maulers, you know, we had everybody and uh, when we have everybody Who's interviewing who? <laughs> Cut me off one more time and this interview is over. Anyway, they come in off that terrible beating at the hands of the ball. And, hey, Smokey has just joined us. Smokey, how you doing? He's I'm just a kid. Get out of here. Um, Hi, baby. Back to the interview, please. Uh, what's your prediction? Now, be be fair now. Okay. We played both teams this year. We yeah. lost both teams this year. Yeah, unfortunately. We beat both teams this year. No, and... <laughs> And we tied that game against Yellow. Remember that? They wanted to make you let in. Yeah. It's anyway, good. Um, the sun was in my eyes. Everybody is saying that the high rollers will win in two straight. Much of the consensus seems to be that they just have too much scoring for gold. Do you think that'll change, maybe, with the little pressure being on Yellow since they've never won any uh, championship? I concur. I, I believe that the uh, Yellow will win in two, two straight. I really do. I think they're too strong. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Right. I think gold. You're right. I think Gold has uh, uh, questionable goaltending in the playoffs. They're, they have a good goalie, but he has never been in the playoffs. And the pressure, trust me, as a goalie, is going to be on. But coming in as... Did you ask I'm, your I'm, question? I'm, I'm, let me play double advocate for a minute. <laughs> the, the goal team has won the last two championships. They figured they don't have anything to lose. Yeah, playing true. Yellow. Yellow, on the other hand, has everything to lose. They have dedicated this season to winning. Um, there have been talk of of a possible breakup, maybe uh, changing colors next year. Um, That's big could this be the end of the high rollers if they should go down to gold? Now, they are big favorites. Nothing would excite me more, but Mike, it's not going to happen. You're going to see the high rollers losing, but not until they get to the finals against the Aqua Maulers. Which brings us to our next series, probably the, the much-awaited series. It's, it's a physical battle. It always has been. Uh, it's the Aqua Maulers against the White Lightning. And just to put a little history behind it, Aqua won their first championship um, against the White Lightning. And, um, Bob, you were the goaltender in that game. I'm the losing end, though, unfortunately. Uh, you know what it's like to play against the Maulers and play with them. Now you're facing your old team. How do you think that's going to affect you tomorrow? Well, I, there's always a little special... That's a good question. That is for you. Okay. There's always a little bit of a special feeling when I play against a team that I used to be on. Uh, Brian Grossinger and myself and Jerry Bear all used to be on the, on the White Lightning. Right. And last year before the playoffs, the three of us got together and had a little bit of a, a summit meeting. Of course, I think Brian was sleeping during the meeting. I went, but how we, could you tell? <laughs> I'm not sure. Brian was on the show last week and he never said a word. Anyway, go ahead. And he said a lot for him. 
but uh, it's always special beating your old team, and I want to beat these cheap punks real bit. The White Lightning has not won a playoff game ever. Ever. Is that right? That is We're going to have to check with, uh, with statistician Joe Delgado on this one. Um, you know, he might have something uh, smart to say. I, don't, I have no idea. Joe Delgado has never been on this show. And um, for a good reason, for a, very, a couple of reasons, but uh, we might maybe just uh, pull him out of seclusion and get him on the show. Uh, I'm sorry, you were going to say. Well, I was going to say the White Lightning have as many wins as the playoffs as Joe Delgado has inches over five six. So if you understand what that meant, and you think about it, if you know Joe Delgado, you know they've never won a game okay. in the playoffs. Anyway, um, what do you think the key is with the, with the Aqua uh, White Series coming up? Forwards, forwards, and forwards, Mike. I think you pretty much know that if our forwards aren't scoring for us, uh, we're not going to get the scoring out of the defense. Uh, we're going to we're not going to win. It's just going to be that simple. Okay. And what's the key for the White Lightning? Uh, defense, 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 really stopping our forwards, forwards, forwards. You, <laughs> Why do I keep saying everything in threes? I can't figure it out either. Have you had this problem for too long? No, no, no. <laughs> the, goal, uh, goal, goal. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you were saying? The, uh, it's, it, everything, it's all defense for them. If they, can, if they can put a stop on the forwards, if they, which they have done before. Oh, which, yeah. They're more than capable. They're a very talented team. If they can do that, it's going to be a low-scoring game. We don't, uh, it's not our style, really, and not to say we can't win a low-scoring game. Of course we can, but, but we'd, rather win a, we'd rather slug it out. They'd rather box, if, if you will. Right. And for all of you fans who, who didn't understand what Bob said, we'll have a recap, I don't know, sometime. After the <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. Moore's going to win, though. That's, that's no doubt about it. A lot of people seem to think that, two that Alan Poupard has not had the type of year that he's accustomed to. Now, that, that might be a little bit hard on the big guy. Uh, he did win the scoring title by some uh, 15 or 20 points over uh, Vinny and myself. <laughs> uh, that's right, we did, right? Yeah. Well, Vinny finished in second, you finished in third. No, I, we both finished with the same amount of points, but he, uh, I don't know, somehow <laughs> he had a couple more goals than me. I don't know. Um, Lucky some goals. people seem to think that the Maulers go by the way Alan Poupart goes. But this year he did not have the type of season, and maybe that's why the Maulers did not come in first place. The resurgence of Vinny Prokeel, though, in the last few weeks has been key, and I'm sure the Lightning will have to watch that. Bob, what do you think is the key for the Maulers, if they should shut down Alan Poupart and Vinny Prokilo tomorrow. I don't know where this is going, but, you know, we're trying to kill the director saying, come on, come on, come on, so we're, you know. We're well, going. Mike, I'll reiterate what I've been saying. It's offense, offense, offense. Right. Uh, if, if, if Poop goes down, we're going to have to look for big games out of Vinny and the other guy. Let me cut you off for a minute. You mentioned before that the, uh, that, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, it'll come to you later, I'm sure. Uh, no, he's no, back, man. He, yeah, okay, anyway. The Mahler defense has been much maligned over the past few seasons. Uh, a lot of people seem to forget that most of those guys do have two championship rings. But stacking up against the powerful White Lightning defense, it doesn't really hold uh, too close a, a battle. Excuse me. Uh, guys, what are you getting at now? Um, do you think Make that the hot white? There is a point in here. Do you think that the Aqua Mauler defense could keep the Maulers in a low-scoring game? <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that. Good point, though. Can, Can I? Uh, yeah, I do. I think the Aqua Mauler uh, defense has been much uh, maligned, and I don't really think it's all entirely fair. You know, speaking of that malign defense, they say defense starts in the nets. Bob, you've been accused of, and I know this is going to be, you know, kind of tough to take, but... You know, we believe in going right to the point here on the show. It does take a few minutes, but I do get to the point. Bob, the knock around the league, not the knock over the league, but just some of the people believe that you are not capable of winning the big game. Who said that? Well, I can think of a lot of people who uh -oh. say it, but we don't have that much time left. Uh -oh. Anyway, uh -oh. do you think that, <laughs> despite your failure in last season's championship, you remember the, the, the bad flu goal that went in that gave gold their championship, and I do mean gave it to them. Uh, no offense. No, do you feel that you have looked past that? You know, Steve Smith of Edmonton got over his blunder. Do you think you can get over yours? There's no question, because I think a lot of what's been blown out of proportion and what a lot has been forgotten is that... Uh, you know, we're going to come back to your answer. Can I say one? 
All right, okay, go ahead. Well, a lot of what's been forgotten is that uh, I had an excellent series against the, the, these very white lightning to get to the play. To get you know, to Bob, a lot of people seem to think that the playoff the leading up to the championship really doesn't mean a heck of a lot. Mike, I think that it means more, to be honest with you, because you can't win a championship until you win the playoff getting there. Well, that is very true, Bob, and... Uh, if more of you out there felt that way, the world would be a better place. No doubt about it. Anyway, we're going to win, and I, I feel, yes, I put the goal behind me because, like I say, you know, I, I think a lot of things have been forgotten. I had a pretty good game up until that point. It was one of those bad breaks, but then again, we only scored a couple goals. We need to score more goals to win. That's why I go back to my original statement with the fours, and I expect the fours to have a big day. I think we're all going to have a big day. And uh, Mueller's going to win two tomorrow, and so are the white, and so are the yellow. The yellow high rollers are going to win two. Our director so now is saying that it's prediction time, so let's go right to the predicts. Oh, yeah, let me back up. Let's go first. Golden Yellow Series, 9 o'clock tomorrow. Who wins that series? i got to go with the uh, with the goaltending and the scoring of yellow. Oh, wait a second. I'm glad you brought that. Let's go down. Let's break it down. Okay. Yellow Gold Series, let's go to offense. Edge Yellow. Ross and Brad, tough to top. Tough to top. top. Let's go right to the defense. Defense, I'm going to go with with uh, gold. Because uh, I'm Mike Trevnick, and, and they have a slight edge. But when I say slight, I mean very slight. Very slight. And then the, the difference, again, is uh, the goaltending. I, the uh, the inexperience of the guy from Garn. That was named Tom, I think. Right. Rallo, uh, Tom Rallo. He's a good goal. He's never been in a playoff. No. Rory is solid. Uh, I go with the high rollers winning two games, but they're going to be two tight games. Okay. Close games. Okay, so we got two close games, yellow in two, uh, which will make all you yellow high rollers happy out there. <laughs> now, hey, the, get your dick out of Saren's butt. The, it, this is a family show. Sorry, might man. be little kids watching. Sorry, Saren. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Aqua White. Well, tough one. Tough one. Uh, yeah, it's a real tough one, but then again, I don't think it's that tough. Whatever that means. Uh, in offense, uh, I think the edge goes to, uh, absolutely to uh, Aqua without a, without a doubt. Uh, the defense, uh, the edge, I'm going to have to give to uh, White. They're a little more solid, and they have some better players on defense all around. Uh, right. Goaltending, I think, is real even, but the uh, the difference should be the uh, the difference should be the offense of Aqua. And uh, right now, the goaltender for Aqua is playing. I'm uh, pretty. So high. what we have here basically is an Aqua Mauler high roller, yellow high roller championship series. Yeah. If that's the case, go out on the limb. Who's going to win that series? Now, if it did come to that, it would be a rematch of two seasons ago when Aqua won their second straight, or would that be three seasons ago when Aqua? Defended successfully their title and and won it and beat Yellow in two real tough games. Um, who would win that game? That series. Mike, right now, uh, with everybody there for Aqua, and it looks like Mike Mustachio may not be there next week if we are playing next week. Um, yeah. Fast big time. Uh, it, it, if we had everybody there, including Masaccio, I'd say Aqua would sweep Yellow. I really do. But in the circumstance, knowing that Masaccio won't be there, if we're there with them, uh, I, I'm going to go with the Maulers, but it's going to be three. Be so three. the Maulers, and I'm I might say I, I don't like to make predictions. Um, I just will make a prediction tomorrow that um, it's going to be two tough series. Uh, like I said, maybe I didn't say it, um, next week's special show, I will have the MVP from the championship play and the playoff and championship series joining me uh, next week right here on this very stage. Uh, so fans, set your VCR for that one. Um, I'd like to thank Bob Balenson for coming down. Oh, Bob, nice you to have to you, get some sleep because you have a big game tomorrow. Yep. Thank you all for watching, and I'd like to say hello to our boys over there in the Gulf. And uh, this is Mike Gerwitz saying so long from Chicago Stadium. Bye.